I am dumb. I literally had the mic off the whole time and I'm explaining problems in GTA. Oh my god. And back. Dang, the amount of problems in GTA is just ridiculous. I'm talking for like the last 10 minutes and I'm so dumb I didn't see the headphones plugged in. Anyways, um, PvP in this game is terrible. Spamming rockets, you know, is stupid. Shooting through buildings is stupid. I swear, people call you a coward for anything. Like, if you use a Mark II explosive rounds, like, sure, sometimes in a battle it's an advantage, but I think it's cowardly if you use freaking rockets too damn much. It doesn't matter if you're hiding or not, Re regardless of if this is a game or not. I think it's smarter to go behind the wall than being out and about where you can get killed in two seconds. And uh, the Mark II is terrible. It always has been. So is the Orbital Cannon. I'm having to do a speed through because I didn't have my crap plugged in the whole time. Dang it. Um, speedometers. They're like, r some speedometers are just really small. I don't get why. Or the steering wheel is so big, it's in the way. You can't, you can't even read the speedometer. And the speedometers aren't even like really working. Like it shows the cars like getting power for acceleration. But like the speeds aren't legit like real like you could be going 30 miles an hour and you're actually going 50 I don't even know why cuz like I think kind of like you know when you think about Gran Turismo or whatever on the right hand side you see a speedometer with legit speeds I tell you Rockstar needs to do that it doesn't matter though you could say whatever you want people are gonna tell you to shut the freak up for no reason you could, ex you could talk about all the problems you want, and this is the video for that, regardless. Like a bunch of things in GTA I've noticed or I've heard about. Like people, the main problem with people is that they are toxic and they assume too much. The reason I say that is, is because uh, sometimes you're driving by and you have no intentions and then two seconds later you're dead. Or your health is really low if you're lucky to dodge them that much. Oh, someone's in the B11. What the hell, dude? I'm getting away from you and you're getting in the way. I swear, cars spawn in the way too much. Oh, great. Am I going to have to shoot him down? Because I know he's going to kill me. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not even paying attention. I got a serious problem with that. Ugh. Oh god. I tell you, PvP, if Rockstar added physics in this game, this game would be better. Because, you know, in real life, I know this isn't real life, I could say in real life, realistically, is my favorite line. But still, 
like this game should be more realistic because it's already at that point anyway. Oh god, if I hit one more car, I'm gonna lose my damn mind. Uh, we're like, well, you get realistic damage. I just hit a car, and compared to GTA in real life, my car should be caved in. Or at least, you know, the engine should be messed up where, like, it's smoking. In the game? No. This car can take, like, a whole bunch of hits. You know, from guns and stuff. You know, the car's got its own weak spots, whatever. I know I can fly as well, but, like, I just don't get how... Because people abuse glitches and crap. It's just annoying. Especially God mode. I would only do God mode if I didn't have a choice. But if I have all this crap with me or whatever, there's no need for that. I really do think when they design these stuff, like, I get a better view than first person. Like, when I'm in first person, I get a way better view. I swear, it kind of feels like, you know... Did this guy get shot down? Oh, did he get shot down? I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, great. Every 48 minutes, I'm going to get charged. So, within the end of the day, I'll probably have like 1.1 or probably 800k. It kind of feels like you're not really upside down, but you kind of are. Oh my god. God, the death barrier is also another annoying thing, but that's only if you're really abusing the glitches to do stuff, but damn. Oh, you're considered a coward for every little weapon you use. Stop calling people a coward. Like, people will tell you all the time that you're a coward if you use this. You're a coward if you use that. God, it's just so annoying. You're always repetitive. I don't know why it bothers me so much. Just because I'm using it doesn't make me a coward. It makes me strategic. If I'm using other weapons to keep myself alive. Because, you know, GTA is pretty toxic. And I'm sure a lot of you YouTubers and other people who have YouTube accounts would know. God, it's just, it's like a never-ending slaughterhouse. 
Oh, he's back. Oh my god, my only problem is is when I fly, like, I know I can fly, but me trying to dodge someone head on with explosive rounds in their jet, like, I don't know how to dodge that. Like, sometimes I'll dodge it, I'll get lucky, whatever, and then out of nowhere I get machine gunned by all that other crap. Did he get blown up again? Oh, he's gonna kill me, I know it. Oh! I honestly thought he was gonna kill me. I was honestly thought. I think next time coming around, he might get me. I don't know. Oh, it's Starling. That's going to be one hell of a battle. There's no way I'm getting him. Let's see if I can get him. Because he's going to kick my ass. I hope he's not a good pilot. Whoa. Yep, he used an explosive round. I'm not surprised. I guess he didn't pay attention or he thought I wasn't gonna kill him, I don't know. have auto lock and it's better than regular players I don't get why this whole cop situation oh crap this is in a shotgun oh I hope these cops don't hit the bombs go 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 you see this guy you gotta listen to the audio or like the sentence this guy says these cops will say pull over or we will be forced to use lethal force. They're going to do that anyway. Why would you that why would they say something that doesn't make sense? I just 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 a little question for people. Do y'all know how to do this? Wee 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 wee. Cuz I didn't know how to do this till recently. Pull over, sir. They're talking about a co uh, cops and crooks update as well for GTA. So if they're going to do all that, the least they could do is add a tow truck and handcuffs. So when you arrest people, they can't shoot you in the face. Because doing role plays is fun. Oh, why did you ram me? Yeah, whatever, I was going to kill myself anyway.
what the hell? This is my point. These dumb mother... You see? They keep hitting me. These aggressive drivers. You mind your own business one day, and then when you're speeding through the highway, they block you out of nowhere. That's one of the top other problems in this game, but, you know, Rockstar will never fix it. Even though it still is a problem. Those cars are the only thing that saved them. You're not gonna escape me, bro. Oh, I thought that rocket was gonna hit that other car. Twelve K, that's not even nothing. Okay, that was a bug. Oh, my game froze for like a quarter of a second. Why? Why do you do this? This guy is getting awfully lucky today. Ooh, you know, I have an experiment I want to try now. Hey, if y'all are ever curious about experiments on GTA, just, you know, if you ever let me know of anything. Oh, that guy's back for revenge. Buddy, get out that jet. Did you? I like to see you try and get me. Oh my god, that car spawned out of nowhere. Yeah, I tried to fly through these tunnels. I get I bet you on my life you couldn't fly through this tunnel and try to kill me. Come on, buddy. Come on, nice place. Dude, what are you, an eagle? He was flying in circles. Oh my god. There's no point of calling the cops out. If I, once I start shooting rockets again, they're just gonna start coming back after me. God, I hate running from cops. Fucking annoying. Oh, because you know, realistically, it takes time for once you blow up a cop helicopter. Whoa, he's lagging. Realistically, when you shoot down. Oh my gosh, stop hitting me. Okay, you want to keep hitting me. Yeah, it wasn't too smart turning around and hitting me that many times, was it? When you destroy a cop helicopter, it takes a few minutes to get another one. In GTA, it takes like maybe 5 seconds, maybe 10 seconds tops. But it's not that long, I tell you. Oh, my foot hurts. Ow. Yeah, you think it's smart to come down here because you know when you lose the cops, it takes them uh, it takes them quite a while before they find you. And that little blue UV thing that's in front of them that shows me that they see you, 
It doesn't matter if you're behind them. Somehow they instantly know. What's the point of that little blue UV thing if they can still see you? Makes no sense. Yeah, there's no way I can scope them. No, I'll call the cops off, but I'm telling you, I'm wasting my time. I know, can it, it is, it's funny. When you kill yourself, you, the cops don't take your car. But now, even if you kill yourself, they still take your car. That makes no sense. I thought that was a mugger. Oh my god. Oh, no way. I passed this so many times that I never saw that. There's 35 out of 100 out of 100. Yes, I'm trying to experiment. Don't judge me. You know, I think when you move the boat, it's going to sink. Because last time I tried it with an anti-aircraft cannon, it didn't work out. I need more speed than that. Pretty cool, though. The car fits perfectly. But, you know, this boat isn't meant for that, which I find stupid, because... I want to be able to put, I want to be able to strap down vehicles that can fit in certain areas of a boat or a truck. I guarantee you, this is going to move so much, it's going to blow up. Something's going to happen, I know it. Or it's going to levitate up and down, like it's going to go up and down, but... And I don't know why it's doing that. You know, people don't do this enough because, you know, I can see why people don't. Because people like to grief. So if you get on this boat and minding your own business, I mean, this guy killed me in the earlier session. I followed him to here and I killed him. But anyways, I killed him... And now he's gonna come back and murder me. Even if I didn't mess with him, he still would have killed me.
are pervs but true it would be hot oh huh what am I oh that's right it's the car also another thing about GTA you know when you buy 100% armor it still doesn't protect the car from crap sure it can take a beating a little bit but I think when you buy like 10% 20% 30% 40% and etc all the way to 100% I think that they should add something like that where like the car and like the armor of the car is strong it can take a few rockets and it can take a few bullets before explosion because I tell you the only vehicle in GTA that actually simulates something that's close enough to a realistic bulletproof car is the Enos Paragon that car well the windows will break eventually and some of the other cars do that too but also doesn't make sense to me is that the insurgent is fully armored but the windows are not that makes no sense at all I like to do experiments in the game, you know, like some guy put a vigilante inside of a a cargo truck or some, like the, you know, those big food trucks with the big doors open, and that thing was flying, especially the Deluxo was making that whole thing fly up. Interesting experiment, but, you know, it always takes damage. Plus, the best part is this car can't die in the water, you know, unless one door is broken off in the front, so. You know, I wish this car could jump. My only question is how the hell am I going to get it out? Maybe rocket boosting it. And this boat also has some physics behind it. It won't float away like most boats because it's stupid heavy. You know, I want to do a party on this boat. It's the biggest moving boat in GTA. By the way, when I say biggest moving boat, I mean the only biggest boat right now in the game. Still, after that update that came out for this. I mean, the submarine isn't a boat, so that doesn't count. Just saying, you know, if some people got that mixed up. And the yacht doesn't count either because it only teleports and does animations. It doesn't actually move like this, so... The biggest moving boat and this car is not supposed to be on the boat but you know people like to experiment people are curious I tell you if my supercar was on here I'd have to pay a lot just to get it back so it'd be smart if you got underwater vehicles in here and they should do a lot of other realistic things like you know when you shoot a boat in this game it's not gonna sink until it blows up so if you like shoot at it, eventually it'll pierce to the bottom and it'll sink unless you patch the hole, you know? But of course, any good ideas you have, Rockstar doesn't give a damn, so. I think with this in the I think with this car in here, I think it's gonna make it sink. I just hope the car doesn't go in the water because I don't know how I'm gonna get it back in. Rocket boosting it back in there isn't gonna really work.
Oh, that scraping doesn't sound good. Too bad I can't go far out because you know this is a fishing boat. It's I think it'd be designed for far out, you know, fishing. Plus those two ropes, those two reelers in the back. I forget what they're called. I think they're like motors to bring in giant fishing nets. Those are only for show, but you know, be cool if you could actually use them for something. It's got a steering wheel instead of a wooden one. Can use the SMG. Come on. <laughs> it's kind of boring when you don't have people to hang out with, because you know people are always hanging out with freaking uh, YouTubers or their friends. All my friends are offline right now. So boring. Let's go. God, you know, when you do that Kyle glitch thing to go on the island, you can fly, you can literally draw, or well, you can fly, you fly, or mainly take a boat back to the island. But after you pass that barrier, if you try to turn around, it'll kill your boat and kill you too. You pass the death barrier. It's like a one way. It's like a one-way trip back. You can't turn around after it's too late. I have another experiment I want to try later, but who knows if it'll work. You know, I'm surprised that car hasn't been bouncing as much because the other day, the freaking Deluxo was bouncing up and down. It's probably because those wheel, those reelers for the fishing nets weren't in the way. Who knows? I can't explain that. Oh god, this guy's off radar. You see, the funny part is, I didn't mess with that guy. He just joined. So, if he comes over and tries to kill me... Oh my god. It's funny, when people kill you, they know they're going to be chased, so they run away afterwards. Just hate it when people kill you, then they run away. Also... Just letting you know, I don't care for KD ratio. If my KD goes up, who cares? If it goes down, who cares? I was killed 30, like 20 to 30 times yesterday when I was idling. And I didn't care. I was like a 2.0 or whatever. So if I, get, if I get hit to a zero, I don't care. That ratio is pointless. Literally, this is, okay, this is the same excuse I'm always hearing. Katie Ratio shows you how good you are, how many kills you get. Sure, it, it shows the numbers of that, but Katie Ratio doesn't tell you how good you are. That, your skills tell you how good you are. If, if you kill me more than I've killed you, that says, hey, you can kick my ass. Katie Ratio just tells you how many times you've gotten kills or it ratios out the amount of kills you've gotten. I mean, yeah, when you get kills, it goes up higher. That just tells you, you got, you've got a kill streak. But, kitty ratio? No, your skills tell you how good you are. I don't care how many people don't agree with that. It is true. Because if you kill me, like, five times and I can't hit you, that tells me, hey, you can fight. I can fight too, but you're better at it than I am because I don't PvP like that. I race more. 
If physics was added in the game, I tell you, that gun would be like 7 to 8 pounds, and you couldn't move left and right. You'd be slow walking because in real life, regardless, I don't care if this isn't real life, it's still the game, physics would be the best thing for this game. I mean, there are some physics that apply, like this boat doesn't move very much because it's heavy. But, uh, literally, oh god, please don't tell me that's a jet. I swear, it always sounds like there's a jet in the sky when sometimes there isn't. I don't know why I can't climb over this. Wait, did it? Is my car destroyed? No, my car is still here. I'm gonna get thrown off this boat if I do this, aren't I? Oh, what happened to my? Why can't I get in this way? That's stupid. Okay, hopefully that lodged my car out. I'm gonna get thrown off this boat. My car couldn't have broken because it's still on the map. Please don't be broken. That's like 10 more grand. Nope, just my laser. Why can't I get in my car? If I keep doing this, it's gonna blow up. It's, this is probably gonna kill me. Yep, called it. Well, it didn't kill me, but I, I knew it was gonna throw me off the boat. Let me up, I'm gonna drown. Oh, that's how you get on the ladder. I thought that ladder was for show. So triangle or Y, you know, Xbox, you know, PlayStation. I have plenty of room to get in. Am I going to have to shoot this car in the water? I don't want to do that. I wonder how many hits this can take. No! I swear someone's going to have to stay in the car the whole time. was awesome I flipped like crazy <sighs> I swear I'm gonna blow up my car doing this it's gonna throw me I don't want to throw it in the water but I'm hoping that works I don't think triangle is working because triangle is what gets me on this boat. What? I didn't even hit myself. The logic of this game I do not get. Oh, uh, it's smoking. Didn't want to do that, but I didn't have a choice, did I? No, I got no vehicle for this. They also add this in here. I know it's cool to have some things for show, but if they're going to add a door here, I wish I could go through it to the engine room. So if you shoot the engine too much, you know, it starts to smoke, whatever. Or that's like a little cabin where you can sleep. You can sleep in here. You can also drive it too. Plus, it'd be a little cool if you could modify this boat because, you know, and I know this isn't real life again, but like how cool would it be if you could attach two jet engines to this? Because, you know, in real life, you could do that if you wanted to. I'm not saying it would be smart to, but how cool would that be? You could, like, attach 
like a better engine, make this quicker. I mean, I guess, you know, physics comes along with that, the weight of this. So, like, you know, putting a few jet engines on the back might give it some juice, you know, so it can go faster. I know it's a tugboat. It's meant to go slow, but still. You know, when you want to experiment, you want to exp I swear, that sounded like a... When this thing starts, it sounds like a truck. And then when it starts, like when it t turns on all the way, it sounds like a boat. I have no escape routes on this. Whoa, I swear, I thought... I wish people like would you know you can wish for a lot of things it'd be cool but like when you get cool vehicles that you can actually use or see the cabin of this thing is pretty big if I could put like a sonar station here or at least you know weaponize this and you know upgrade the engine you know do cool stuff with it because you know I know it's a heavy boat but maybe I can put enough where it's like maybe I don't know how many knots this is, because knots, I know, involves speeds for boats, but they call it knots, like maybe 20 or 30 knots. I don't know how fast this boat is. I know it's slow, like just by looking at it and seeing how fast it goes, it's slow. <sighs> Plus, you got like this, like this whole spot is empty. You can't even climb back up here. But uh, I want to be able to see through the windows too. You know, putting on giant spotlights for a boat this big would make sense. That spotlight doesn't even work. I already tried turning that on. I think that's just for show, too. Plus, how cool it would be. Like, you could actually find chests and stuff. Like, you can only use... This, thing, this boat doesn't have a sonar station. I think with the antenna on top, it should have one. But alas, it does not. Does it have lights? I'm... Nope. This does not have lights. That spotlight is only for show, which is stupid. I'm afraid to go too far out because it's just going to kill the engine and then I'm going to die like right after. I wish there was like a red line outlining the death barrier. So like around the whole map, you see a red line telling you if you pass this, you die, you know? But Rockstar doesn't do smart stuff like that. I need to know how far I can go. But you'll, you'll know it when you pass it. That's all you know. I'm way too far out to turn around. Because that's a really long trip back. I don't know if a flare will tell me if I'm at the death barrier. I think a flare will just keep going because it's an animation. At least I think. Whoa, what was that? I saw something. I mean, that's pretty far, but I think we can go further than that. Right? I, I'm probably wrong. Who knows? No, I wonder if this would be a smart move to do. I don't want to destroy my boat, so I'm going to see if destroying the dinghy will do anything.
Ooh, and now we're Okay, is that... That's a pretty far distance. You know, when I find the part, when I get to that death barrier, I'm gonna see uh, how far we can get. I'm gonna keep pushing the boat. Maybe the tugboat won't destroy this when I'm pushing this. Cause this boat is more likely to move away with the waves. This thing is faster forwards because in reverse this thing is like beyond slow.
No. Huh? No. 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 I know. I, I am ready. I got the sun. Dang cat. Stay away from my stuffed animals, please. I don't have to promise anything. Good night, ferret. Dang cat. Shut up. I'm angel. A day after graduation, my parents are taking me out to a hubachi. You said the day on graduation? I'll have to ask my parents. What exactly would we do if we were there, question mark? How far is the death barrier in GTA 5 online? From electric appliances that create a cooler environment to lighting upgrades that really show off your merchandise, energy efficient improvements add up to more than just big cities. Where is the death barrier in GTA 5?
Well, I guess I found it. The death barrier is like right about there. Yeah, at least it didn't blow up, but uh, when I touched the water, I died. Because it's big enough for it to land on.
Damn. Oh. Hey, I'm really far out. So, just in case you're watching, Natalie, I am on GTA Live. Not like anyone's watching anyways, but whatever. Dang, I just drove out far. There, uh, there it is. I'm gonna land this puppy on the back, but I promise you right now, this is not meant for this. This thing is gonna blow up, and then my boat's gonna blow up. Why did it make me move? Yeah, I'm gonna have to call that back before it blows up. Well, I'm back on the boat. That was quite a distance I had to travel. Let me up there. You can watch if you want. So That's not that far from here, but with this boat it kind of is. Mm. Yeah, boy. This cabin does look cool though. Don't sink. You can do it. It's slow, but it works. 
Wow, that's pretty far. It's like past my boundary. Okay, I probably should have said this in the beginning, but you know, anytime I see a Mark II, I don't care if it's my friends. I'm sorry, dude. I don't mean to, I'm not trying to be a dick. If I see a Mark II, if anyone owns it, I'm going to blow that crap up. I should have said that in the beginning, but you know, it's for my video is now an hour and 25 minutes and 50 seconds going. But, um, uh, anyone watches and says, here's what I say. If you complain, get over it because I do not like Mark II's. I would only fly one if I had to, but if I had to choose between walking to Polito Bay and flying that to Polito Bay, I'd rather walk. I mean, I'd only ride that thing in serious situations, but other than that, I'm going to walk. Man, I wish this thing had a boost button, but you know, I guess it'd be ridiculous for everything to have a boost button, right? Just letting you know, um, when you, uh, or if you look at it, oh, about to say, I thought my boat died. Booba de ba boo, what the hell? Cielo or Cello, I can't pronounce your name. Can you hear me, dude? You can text me on YouTube, which is pretty cool. Why do I got like so many invites from crews? I know I'm po I'm a popular guy, but even I'm not that popular. You're like, hey, whatever. God, this just goes on forever with the slow boat. If you click on my video. You look down, and it'll show you a little bar showing you that says something like live chat or something. Oh, great. I have school tomorrow. Have fun. Whatever. I'm graduating in a week or so, so uh, uh, hopefully things go my way.
doesn't make sense. You should still be able to talk to me. I feel like I, it's hard to believe. I'm getting there. I tell you. I am about to reach the death barrier of the game. Are you watching? Question mark. You should watch so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, I think that's the death barrier. So that's where I highlighted before I died. Well, I'm afraid to go past that. And if I sink, then I'll have to recorrect it before I touch the water. Oh, what's up, guys? You watching? And by the way, when you click on the. Yeah, I know I'm far out, Cicello. Hey, when you're watching, you should hit the the right side of the screen when you tap on the video. Hey, Nyla. When, you should tap the 10 second thing so you can catch up to me. Nyla, click on the video and hit the 10 second mark on the right side of the screen, not the left. So you can catch up to what I'm doing.
Oh, there's the death barrier. If I get any closer, my boat will sink. It's the fast forward button that says 10 seconds to speed up the video. Click on that. Once you do that, you should have caught up with me. You'd have to click it a few times until you reach the end so it can continue catching up with me. Oh no, the boat died! When I get out, I'm dead. Damn it! I... Damn it! I died. Ah. I guess you stopped watching. You were on the video, then you left. Great. Sir, I'm happy to say it's now ready for you at our nearest harbor. Of course it is. You know, it's funny, you can't skydive like that. You know, technically, I know this isn't real life again. I'm, I'm going to keep saying that regardless, so whatever. Um, you, you, in order to d drop the way you do, you can't drop like that without a parachute. When the parachute is off, you're falling like you're out of control. You should still have control of yourself until the very end. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, I'm alive. I thought I was going to die. You said you were trying to look for it. I'm confused now. Adios, coppers. Why would they put a boat this big by the, the freaking shallow end of the water? I'd be destroying this boat if this wasn't in GTA. Harbor Patrol? I take it this isn't a social call. 
back. Can't handle the heat, my friend. Okay, leave it with creepy Uncle Lester. <laughs> What? I'm still on the shallow end? I'd be destroying that motor without it. I'm scraping the bottom. Come on, I need the free water. It's funny, I'm still able to return that dinghy even after it's destroyed. When you click on the video, like you tap the video, it'll show you when you can pause the video. That's where you find it. Oh my god, I'm scraping the bottom. My boat is scraping the bottom of the ocean floor. God, how far? Is it that? I swear, it's like moving around like crazy. You can keep watching if you want. I'm about to do my experiment again. Just in case my boat sinks. Oh, the spotlight doesn't work. That really does suck.
Bing, bing, bang, bang. Why do you leave? Hey, has anybody got a mic? If anybody can hear me in the game, can I wonder if everybody can fit on my tugboat, you know, without throwing each other off the boat? I want to see how many people can fit on this boat, you know, before it's over capacity. But I think the whole server could probably fit on here. Who knows? Who's ever in that B11? I come in peace. Giggity giggity, giggity goo. Stick around. Yeah. Family Yeah, I'm not even. I'm never gonna make it. I have to go to bed soon. Damn. Well, I know nobody watched, but I hope to build that up soon. I'm not gonna make it. This boat is way too slow to make it. Oh, am I almost there? Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Good night, everybody.